The Japanese Ground Self-Defense Force has always been known for its dedication to self-protection, embracing both innovation and tradition. But imagine a machine so powerful, so precise, that it can reshape the battlefield and strike with deadly accuracy from miles away. This isn't just a tale from science fiction or a war story, this is about the Type 99 self-propelled howitzer, a modern marvel of military engineering. In today's video, we'll explore why the Type 99 has become a game-changer in the realm of self-defense. We'll take you into the details of its design, the story of its creation, and its strategic importance. So stay with us as we dive deep into what makes this howitzer an absolute powerhouse, a machine that embodies both strength and resilience. Believe me, you won't want to miss the incredible details that set this beast apart from any other. The Type 99 self-propelled howitzer, SPH, was developed to replace an older generation of howitzers, the Type 75, which had served Japan faithfully since the mid-1970s. However, the Type 99 took things to a whole new level. Imagine, for instance, a warrior from the past compared to a fully armored soldier equipped with the latest technology. That's the leap the JGSDF made with the Type 99. Weighing around 40 tons, the Type 99 isn't just powerful, it's a true fortress on tracks. Built with the safety of the crew in mind, this self-propelled artillery vehicle is armored with a material that strikes the perfect balance between protection and mobility. The main hull of the Type 99 uses aluminum alloy armor, similar to the Type 89 infantry fighting vehicle, offering a layer of defense that guards against small arms fire and artillery fragments. Inside the Type 99, for crew members work in harmony, the commander, the gunner, the loader, and the driver. Each person has a specific role. The commander leads, the gunner operates the massive 155mm gun, the loader ensures the rounds are ready, and the driver keeps the whole machine moving. Together, they are like a synchronized team, each performing tasks that rely on split-second timing and coordination. At the heart of the Type 99's firepower is its 155mm L-52 main gun, created by Japan Steelworks. Now, if you think of traditional artillery as a bow and arrow, the Type 99's gun is like a high-powered sniper rifle, designed to hit its target with extreme precision. This gun, mounted in a boxy yet sophisticated turret, has an impressive 360-degree firing range. This means that no matter where the enemy is, the Type 99 can pivot and fire without needing to reposition its entire body. The gun is equipped with a multi-baffled muzzle brake. Picture it like a set of gears in a machine that controls pressure helping to reduce the powerful recoil created when a shell is fired. This design isn't just for show, it actually enhances the stability of the vehicle, allowing it to fire multiple rounds in quick succession without being thrown off balance. Speed is another key feature. The Type 99 can achieve a rate of fire of up to 6 rounds per minute, which is significant for an artillery vehicle of this size. Imagine being able to unleash such power at such a rapid pace. But of course, it needs regular resupply and the Type 99 comes prepared with an ammunition carrier to support prolonged missions. For close-range defense, a 12.7mm M2 HB heavy machine gun is mounted on top of the turret. This isn't just for show, this machine gun serves as the last line of defense, helping to protect the vehicle and crew from infantry threats that might try to get too close. Additionally, smoke grenade dischargers are positioned around the vehicle to create a smoke screen offering temporary concealment if the Type 99 comes under heavy fire. Let's talk about mobility. The Type 99 is powered by a Mitsubishi 6SY31WA six-cylinder diesel engine that generates an impressive 600 horsepower. This engine allows the vehicle to move at speeds of up to 50 km per hour on roads. Imagine this massive vehicle hurtling along at that speed, it's almost like a rolling fortress. The Type 99 also has a road range of 300 km meaning it can travel long distances without needing to refuel, which is crucial for battlefield endurance. Picture the Type 99 moving effortlessly across vast terrains, with the reliability of a machine built to survive even the toughest environments. The vehicle is equipped with a torsion bar suspension system, allowing it to handle uneven ground smoothly. The torsion bar acts like a set of springs that absorb the shocks from rough terrains. This is especially useful for cross-country travel, where stability and control are essential for both the vehicle and the crew's safety. The Type 99's track over wheel setup, featuring seven double-tired road wheels on each side, further enhances its stability. The drive sprocket at the front and the track idler at the back make sure the vehicle maintains traction on any surface, providing the flexibility needed for quick maneuvers in combat. The Type 99 is more than just a tool of war, 
it's a symbol of technological progress. It represents Japan's commitment to defending its lands with advanced technology while ensuring the safety of its soldiers. Each feature of the Type 99, from its armor to its firepower, is a testament to the innovation and dedication that went into its design. In terms of versatility, the Type 99 is invaluable. Whether it's providing fire support in open landscapes or defending in urban settings, this vehicle is prepared to adapt to any challenge. The 360-degree turret rotation allows it to engage threats from any direction, while its armor and firepower make it a resilient force on the battlefield. The creation of the Type 99 wasn't just about building a weapon, it was about developing a system that embodies resilience and readiness. Just as a shield protects a knight, the Type 99 stands as a guardian of Japanese self-defense. It's a machine built with one purpose, to protect and serve, no matter the odds. The Type 99 self-propelled howitzer is more than just an armored vehicle, it's a masterpiece of military engineering, a marvel that showcases Japan's dedication to defense and technological progress. Its design, capabilities, and role are all testaments to a relentless pursuit of self-reliance and security. If this story about the Type 99 captured your interest, then make sure to subscribe to our channel. By subscribing, you'll be the first to know when we explore more groundbreaking technologies and military innovations. And if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up and let us know your thoughts in the comments. What's your opinion on the Type 99? Is it a symbol of power, or do you think there's room for improvement? We value every interaction from our community. Every like, every comment, every subscription helps us bring you more content that dives into the fascinating world of military technology and defense. So, hit that subscribe button, leave a like, and join us as we continue to explore the technologies that shape our world and secure our future. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.